All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the diagonal lengths of a parallelogram. Here we're dealing with parallelogram A, B, C, D. We know it's a parallelogram because these arrows indicate that opposite sides are parallel, and we're being asked to find the length of line segment B, D. Stick around to the end because at the very last part of this video, I'm gonna tell you what students always do wrong. Year after year, the same mistake is made. Make sure you don't make it. Let's get started. Okay, one of the properties that we know about a parallelogram is that the diagonals, okay, are bisectors of each other, meaning they're going to cut this line, BD, right down the middle, okay? These two are equal. B to E and D to E are equal. Same with A to E and C to E, okay? These are bisectors. Okay, this line bisects AC, making these equal lengths. So since we know that, we can use a little bit of algebra and we can figure out exactly what the distance or length of this line is. Okay, well, what do I know about 3x, which is representing DE, and 4x minus 5, which is representing BE? We know they're equal, so I'm going to write an equation that represents that. 4x minus 5 equals 3x. This is essentially the same length as this. So I write an equation that represents that. Now I solve that equation, just like you did in your Algebra 1 classes. We need to solve for x, so we're gonna take away 4x, cancels, take away 4x. That's gonna leave us with negative 1x equals negative 5, divide by negative 1, cancels, divide by negative 1, and that gives me x equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So right now I know x is 5, and students every single year in my class will say 5 is their answer. They'll say db or bd, line segment bd, is 5 inches, 5 feet, however many, 5 long. But it's not. x is 5. So the common error, the common mistake that I see in my class is students will say 5 is the length, but five is not the length, five is just representing the value of x. So what we need to do to figure out the length, if you're asked to find DE, just say five times three, or three times five. If you're asked to find BE, four times five minus five. Remember, x is five, so we're just gonna plug that in. So let's plug it into this one, quick and easy, three times five gives me 15. Therefore, D to E, is 15, let's say our unit of measure is inches. This would be 15 inches. If this is 15 inches, this is also 15 inches, and they wanna know what BD is all the way across. So two 15s make 30. Our answer here is line segment BD is 30. Hopefully this makes sense. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test parallelograms.